welcome to another episode of Sorry, we're canceled and I'm sick. Oh my God, I'm so sick. Yeah. You know why I'm sick? Because I did this, and this is another one of those things where it's like, uh, I think uh, it's a racial thing, is that I went to bed without my shirt. I, I slept without a shirt on. So and I woke up the next day and I was like, I felt that little tickle like, oh shit. And now I'm sick. And I, I think it's a, it's a black thing. I, I went out with a girl. Oh, she had a black boyfriend too. Everyone before me was black. And she goes, yeah, well duh, yeah. And she goes, uh, she goes, what is it with you guys and, and you don't take your shirt off when you go to sleep? And I go, it's just because we catch a cold. I don't know what it is about us. We, if we, if we, do you guys I do that too? I never sleep with a shirt on. Yeah, I, I haven't slept with clothes on in a while. I, don't, I need to hear all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said shirt. Yeah. yeah. You getting butt naked in your own bed with nobody else? I don't get butt naked when I sleep. Ugh. Yeah, if I'm not fucking, why am I butt naked? Yeah, well, I don't get butt naked. No, I, I sleep with all my clothes. Not all my clothes on, but I sleep with shorts and a shirt. But if I sleep without a shirt, I'll get sick no matter when. It could be in July or it could be in January, and I'll get sick if I go to sleep That's without my shirt. That's crazy. I've never heard that before. Hey, you guys, write in. Uh, Natalie might know. But <laughs> <laughs> she might, Natalie might know. But yeah, tell me if you heard about that. That and the, and the washcloth thing. Those are two like racial things, I think. Was no, that, the washcloth thing is real. That's real racial shit. Like, but why why people go like what when you say that? You might as well be speaking French. Matter of fact, they will understand French more than they go washcloth. Let me, <laughs> let me Google that. I can't think of the last time I slept with a shirt on. Like you got really, me really thinking about. It. I'm like, I always sleep with a shirt on. It's always my white shirts too. So for some reason. Because my white shirts are always lighter, so I sleep better with them on. It's weird. Like I go to see my, my white like shirt. white beaters or just white t-shirts? White, t not white beaters. You know me. I'm, I'm not like that. But it's like I sleep with my white t-shirts on. Yeah. I'm not like that. I don't, I, I don't be beaten. You only feel cozy with a white t-shirt wrapped around your body. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do. It's weird, but it's the truth though. I, I, uh, white. If I go to sleep with a shirt on, um, it I bet not be black. <laughs> I've never. I've never gotten I sick. Having no nigga nightmares with a black t-shirt on. I've never gotten sick. Uh, going to sleep with a shirt on. With my shirt off, I always end up getting sick. Always. I swear to God, I'm not even making this up, bro. This nigga's got magical t-shirts to keep him safe from diseases. Yeah, black Mormon. Yeah. That's <laughs> magical underwear and magical t-shirts. It's true. It's true. I, I, that I must go. be an older person thing. Older black thing? Yeah, because I, I don't know. None of my friends are like that either. That's why it's so hot in here. I turned it down for you guys. It was 81 in here before you guys came. I go, I don't want Malik to fucking, you know. Yeah, I learned that I'm fat coming over here because I'm sweating already. Yeah, well, I, I turned it down to 76, but it was 81 before Malik came in. And so I turned it down a little bit, but yeah. That's insane. Well, no, here I do. Well, last night I went to sleep with uh, a, jer uh, a friend of mine. I got fans in El Paso, that's why I love El Paso. And they gave me this Dallas Cowboy jersey. I put that on and I put on, uh, I think my dad gave me a Dallas Cowboy hoodie and I put both those on last night. So I got a good sweat. And I turned, and I got a, a heated blanket. I turned that shit up to ten, so I was sweating. I smelled like pee. It was horrible, but I got that sweat out. I smelled like pee. Well, you know, you know that. that Why that, you just go to the gym and do the sauna? I mean, I was so out of it that I couldn't really, I couldn't get it together, man. Because I had, I had. Now no, you gotta wash all that shit that you sweated out of. Wash it. I mean, yeah. So yeah, I gotta wash it. <laughs> I'm single and I see nobody coming over. So yeah, if they, mean, do, if they do, I'm like, uh oh. Hey, listen, uh, I was sick. <laughs> She's fucking face down in it. Oh my god, you didn't clean your sheets. It'll be over all in a minute, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I gotta wash my sheets. Like it smell like chloroform. <laughs> of course, no. That's why you put your face down. <laughs> they, they pass out. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my, oh my god. And then, yeah. <laughs> I go to work. <laughs> and then you start making pudding pops. That's so wrong. That's wrong, bro. You know, this Diddy shit has got me fucking... Okay, crazy. Diddy shit and also this, you see the uh, Donnell Rollins, Corey Hoka. Now, now Corey called out uh, 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 Godfrey. Did you see that? I didn't. I haven't seen that. The Sosa sent me that on a DM on Instagram. Before we get to that, I want to... This stuff about P. Diddy. Now, all the pedophilia shit that they're talking about and how he was robbing people with their music right, I, he should absolutely be thrown in jail for it. Yeah. But if he's having sex with grown men and they're consenting, I don't give a fuck. Like, that's the only part of it that I feel like is being blown up is that he was fucking grown men. Like, like he and so, Ja Rule? Like he and Ja Rule Yeah, fucking. like, I don't give a shit. I don't care about that at all. Ja Rule's in the, in the getting fucked by a PD. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> Only for the rule, baby. 
Like him calling grown men daddy, if that's his thing, I'm not shaming. I'm not shaming Diddy for being, I love, being gay. I'm really not. Yeah, who cares? But I just love how 50 Cent is trolling that motherfucker. Yeah. 50 Cent is a fucking beast. Bruh, when I tell you I've seen more videos of P. Diddy doing some, as they say, suspect shit. And I don't even want to say it's suspect. Diddy's clearly into men. Like it's... Like you can't get away from. He it, wanted man. to take fifty I mean, cents shopping. When you, yeah, when you, he go, how come we ain't gonna let me take you shopping, Daddy? What? <laughs> what? He said the fabulous. He said, when we gonna party, Daddy? Like, man, you call me Daddy as a that's man. That's some gay shit. I, I think I might stop the shutty. You call me Daddy as a man, huh? as a man, as a mother. I mean, I'm not even. I'm, not, you know me. I'm far from homophobic, but this shit, I go, okay. It stops here. You know what I mean? Yeah, once you say, nah, I'm cool, then that's the end then of don't it. Don't call me daddy. You press it. Look, man, I don't have a problem with him being gay. I think I think that's what people are like, ugh, it's, you know, why is he being, I'm like, maybe he's, maybe he's been gay his whole life. Well, I don't think it just sneaks up on you. He's probably been gay his whole life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know what I can't wait for, honestly? Him to be on Club Shay Shack. Yeah, he, that ain't happening. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You he, think he's going on Club Shay Shay? Well, somebody is about him. I mean, somebody's got to be. Somebody's got to be. I'd like to see him get Meek Mill on there. Well, what does Meek Mill have to do with it? Because he was one of the dudes they say he was he was popping. He's in the court documents. Oh. He's, he's redacted, so. By the way, is, what's Ja Rule's most famous song? That's a... I'm uh, trying to think now, I'm like... Uh, I, he one, had so many freaking hits in the 2000s. Um, I should know this. I got it. Hey, what's love? If that's what I said. But that's Fat Joe. So probably put it on me. Put it on. I, I don't even know what it sounds like. I mean, seriously. Like, I know. What, what the fuck? How did we get on Ja Rule? Well, because he was fucking, uh, I mean, Diddy was fucking him. <laughs> they said somebody came in and they were in the room fucking and, and they both came out in towels, like, hey, what the hell is going on? Yeah, that was his cousin. We're trying to fuck. Y'all sitting there making all this goddamn noise. That's not <laughs> well, I'm just saying that's how Diddy, that's how Ja Rule is. He and Diddy are fucking. It's why he interrupts him. You sound like the cookie monster if we had the nine to five. <laughs> so if you got a dick in your ass by Diddy, you sound like the cookie monster too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gave him the voice. It's murder. He didn't have that voice before that. It's murder. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm, I'm with you. In a way, I'm like, who gives a shit? But and sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't want to hear anymore. But man, but honestly, but now and Corey Holcomb is talking reckless about uh, about he's, he's trying to say Godfrey's gay. Wow. Okay, because okay, I guess Corey said something about. Um, Donnell Rollins. Donnell Rollins and, and Chappelle or whatever. And so mm -hmm. uh, Rollins was taken up for Chappelle. And then, so Godfrey called Corey and Corey told him the deal. But then he listened to uh, Godfrey on the podcast and, po and he told a different story. And he goes, you my partner, but I'm just going to say it. I mean, you live with a, a gay white male who used to be a, a stripper. And he goes, so just put it out there. He can't, he tried, he kind of say that. Corey said that on he, his podcast? He said it about Godfrey. He said, he basically said Godfrey's gay or. Because he got a, room, a gay roommate? He said, I know you make enough paper that you can live by yourself. And he goes, why you got a, you know, why you got a roommate or whatever? And I'm like, eh, kind of point taken. In a way, in a way, in a way. Who cares? Well, why is someone's sexuality a fucking negative? Like, if Godfrey's gay no, no, and he no. kept it in the closet only, all this time. Only if you're fucking somebody underage. To me, that, that's when it's like, okay, enough. When somebody's underage. That's, but that's pedophilia. That's not homosexuality. Okay, no, okay, if it's 17, 16, okay, and I think pedophilia. That's pedophilia. To me, pedophilia is before they get to be teenagers. That's like, ugh. I mean, but. That, I think technically BT is right. Look that up, please. Uh, that's kind of a weird thing to search. Yeah, put that, put that in your oh, phone forever. <laughs> oh, man. You, said, you <laughs> Google search that shit on your own. And we, hey, we, we come back next week. Malik, uh, Malik won't be with us for the next uh, year and a half. His lawyers say maybe even longer. <laughs> hey, we got to do this at Marriott State Penitentiary. Everybody in the background, call him Malik. <laughs> Am I the asshole? Okay, my celly said. <laughs> you have a collect call from sorry, we're canceled. <laughs> do you accept the charges? Yes. <laughs> we get Malik in trouble because he Googles that. We have the cops here in less than 20 minutes. We uh oh. Oh, wow, this nigga was like, hey. oh, I didn't even have to type it all the way in. It was already in. <laughs> you see a helicopter come down like, 
Are those guys re repelling down uh, the floor? Oh, God. So we got them in an isolated location. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum collateral damage. Hey, he's got three red dots on his forehead. Our last words to Malik. I'm so sorry, Malik. <laughs> All because I said, hey, Malik, Google. <laughs> I'm Malik. glad you don't have one of them Google assistants. No. She'd do that shit in your house. <laughs> Googling pedophilia. The volume turn up real loud. Googling pedophilia. <laughs> what age is considered pedophilia? And what age is just bad, a bad judgment? <laughs> Would you like me to open up your iCloud? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Alexa starts snitching on you. I mean, you just do that, like, take, like, <laughs> and if we watch Malik get laid out in handcuffs and we got to talk to the cops, we thought it was nice. I mean, yeah, I don't, we didn't he know. He always looked up when we asked him to look yeah, up. Yeah, we he always. <laughs> hey, hey, he was always cool to us. I mean, we didn't really know him like that, though. We didn't really know him. I thought his girlfriend was Asian. I didn't know she was under. I thought she was Marcus. He said Asian, yeah. under Asian. I thought, that's what I thought he said. I heard him wrong. Yeah, I guess, yeah, man. That's, that, officer, hey, thank you for your service. <laughs> anyway, so Dion, like I was saying. <laughs> Mind if we look around a little bit? No. We've heard some of the podcast. <laughs> I said no. no. Not without a warrant. <laughs> no, my Lord, and let me call a lawyer. <laughs> I call Dr. Usman. <laughs> Dr. Umar. <laughs> hey, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's the rule? Sorry, brother, but the Prince of Pan Africanism. <laughs> Smells the white girl on you. <laughs> hey man, let me tell you something, man. I saw One Love last night, uh, Bob Marley story. Okay. God damn, man. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes give it forty six percent. I I love that movie. I thought it is was. It, as, is it a biopic or is it? Yeah, it's a biopic. It basically it starts off with him uh, doing a, a concert for Jamaica to, to uh, the, the political parties there. You think Democrats and Republicans are bad here. My God, there they were literally killing each other, right? So he wanted to bring a, a concert to unify uh, Jamaica, which I thought that's a weird place to start the, the movie. But it was great because they did like some, uh, you know, they go back in time. Mm -hmm. And they go to the president. I thought they did it really well. And that shit, man, I ain't gonna lie. It, was, it sounds uh, cliche, but fuck, man, like it kind of gets you. You know what I mean? He was really for the people. And then at the very end, they showed him in, in concert and shit. And then you, then you read about what the Rastafarians were. And they're, what they did, basically, they believed that, that they're the chosen ones. And, you know, and that like the marijuana is basically, you know, is... It, it, seriously, it, it, it's supposed to be he, a healing principle for them. And it, it, it's part of their religious practices to smoke marijuana. So it's not like a, just a smoke, it's just a smoke. I got to get healed every day, man. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> there, there were times in that movie I was going, the fuck did they just say? <laughs> but, it, I mean, they, to you me. You watched it in theater or at home? Oh, uh, yeah, theater, uh, Regal. Matter of fact, to me, Jamaicans and the Scottish, and sometimes the Irish, when they get to going, you, you, you really need. Uh, subtitles. Yeah, the, you need the bouncing ball. Trick. Yeah, you really like the, 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 the bouncing ball. You do. Serious, you don't remember man. that, do you? Do you remember that? Yeah, okay. Okay. Like, Yo. Yeah, man. I got a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because the, you're not a video game head, but you remember Grand Theft Auto 4, right? Yeah. You're the fucking Jamaican dude. Oh, yeah. That shit. I could never understand. First of all, you play as a, like a Eastern European gangster or whatever, right? But you, like Croatia? Better, Serbia? Something like that. Okay. And uh, he. <laughs> His best friend in the games, dude named Jacob. Jacob's a Jamaican and fucking is full on. I remember I had to turn the subtitles on the games. I didn't know what the fuck this nigga was saying at all. That is, they got some good food though. Jamaicans? Mm -hmm. No, it's like oxtails and shit. I don't eat that shit. I mean, seriously, like oxtails. That and... shit is good. I remember the first time no. I had that shit. I had never had it because uh, I couldn't afford oxtails. No. Let me tell you something. There's no place scarier at night than Jamaica. I, uh, I had it. I had a. I was. I was at a. Uh, uh, an all inclusive. Resort. That's coming from a nigga from Oklahoma. <laughs> Listen, I was. I was in an all inclusive resort, and they go, "Don't leave here at night." And we're like, whatever, right? And we left there at night, and we're eating. And I go, and I, cause I, this is, I think this is when I was just eating, just maybe chicken, and I got it, and I go, this, this ain't chicken. But I was eating. I go, I know what chicken is. This ain't chicken. I, I was assuming it's oxtail. But anyway, so we left. You was eating dog, nigga. Dude, <laughs> you was eating dog. I left there. Oxtail and chicken ain't the same. I you would know oxtail. At Jamaica at night, and I don't know if they were going to a club, but this is big, huge crowd was forming, and I had to get, I had to get a taxi. Dude, it was as scary as I've ever been in my fucking life. Why, because it's just a lot of people? It was, the kind of a lot of people were, it looked like some bad shit was going to happen. You know, like, a, like your classic black club in Indianapolis or anywhere. Yeah. At night, the people congregating, you go, uh-oh, mm -hmm. a fight's going to break out. Yeah. Well, it was that times two. And I was like, uh-oh. And so we, we finally made it back and we were like, whew, whew, we go, 
Okay, we're never gonna leave here. <laughs> I and, told you, yeah. my ass is staying. Yeah, out. man, <laughs> Jamaica after hours, mother. And now they have a travel alert for Jamaica and uh, the Bahamas because I think in Jamaica they're busting in rooms and killing people or st robbing people. They're busting in rooms. That one's Give me that money, yeah. <laughs> I want the one to add the ear. <laughs> what? Bring ear at now. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't want to ear at. You see the money. You don't want to ear at. You see the machete. <laughs> I want the money. You understand? What do I put out? The Americano? I'm sorry. Could you write that down? Because I have no idea what you're saying. The bumble Booyaka, booyaka, booyaka. Okay. Uh, you're saying booyaka, which means in your language, uh, sounds Alexa, like. Alexa, translate. Like, oh my God. Jamaican Sesame Street. <laughs> hey, bird. I'm a snuffle up against her. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. Have you heard that theory that Snuffleupagus was a bird's imaginary friend and he was the only one that could see him? No, but it makes sense. Because nobody else saw him and, and, and he was the only one that saw him. I thought Snuffleupagus, uh, <coughs> what, say again? Uh, and take two. I'm sorry, I was talking like Malik Reeds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Snuffleupagus Playing with the kids that Bird was talking to, like, no, he was like one of, uh, hey, Snuffleupagus, and he was like, hey, Bird, and they were just like together in that. I mean, they go behind that, that that wooden, I mean, that fence, mm -hmm. and they talk, and all of a sudden Bird would come back out, and he was better. Like I don't know what, maybe it was like, it, maybe Bird had mental issues, and that was his imaginary friend, and helped him get through a, a traumatic time. Yeah. Oscar the Grouch, remember that? He lived in a trash can, mm -hmm. and he was real to everybody. But I mean, but it makes was sense. Was he a Grouch because he lived in a trash can or? I mean, why was he? Maybe he was homeless. I, I, well, he was definitely homeless. Well, but he, he had everything he needed in that trash can. But he was still grouchy. Because the way they treated him. Like, like a piece of shit. Yeah, man. Like, you yeah. know. Now, the Cookie Monster, I think he's my favorite. He ate all them cookies. He was always happy. And that one eye was always, you know. I think Grover was my favorite. And I think it's just because he was. He, I like the way his voice. He was settled. He was more settled. Like, Are you ready? <laughs> like. He was like a, I don't, like if Yoda talked regular. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Grover. Yeah, they have the same. Hey one. Cookie Monster, can I borrow a chocolate chip? No, yeah. those are my cookies. Far. Near? Far. <laughs> Man, Sesame Street. It was great. It was, and the electric company was good too. You know what I noticed about Sesame Street? There was never any sexual innuendos that I remember. No, it was just good old fashioned. Uh, family entertainment. Like with the puppets. Now, the people, I'm sure they were saying some shit that went over my childhood head, but. No, I, I, I mean, I was pretty, uh, uh, you know, like tuned in to sexual stuff, but even when I was a kid, because I was, you know, a different breed of cat. But still, they didn't really, but they didn't, but what the they. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malik. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, bro? I'm a different breed of cat because I was tuned in sexually to the jokes. What the fuck does that mean, bro? You can't just gloss that over. Rewind that back. But it's you said, no, what does no? What does that mean? I'm just, you know, I mean, I was tuned in sexually to the jokes even as a kid because I'm a different kind of cat. What the fuck does that phrase mean? But I, I still didn't really get the part about Bert and Ernie while they were roommates. So, <laughs> until later on, people go, they were gay. That's why they were roommates. And I go, Bert and Ernie were brothers. Right, were they? Yes. I didn't know they were brothers. And why, why did one have a head like a cone and the other one had like a head like a football? Because they got different daddies. One was dark and one was yellow, high yellow. Yeah. So they had different daddies but the same mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically, the mom was white and the dad, was, she had two different black dads. <laughs> right? No, seriously. So... Uh, who, which, which one was you the one? think Bert is black with the high yellow? Yeah, he's like a Steph Curry. No, <laughs> Bert was Steph Curry <laughs> and Ernie. No, it's oh. Chris Paul. <laughs> Ernie was Ernie had like a, a just a regular black dad who worked maybe with a truck driver. And you he, know who I think Ernie's dad is? Who? <laughs> the dad from Family Matters. <laughs> Wasn't he gay? <laughs> Probably. I think I he, no, know. I think he was. He was. He was. So, uh, it, unless he wanted a son, and then he got a son that they, you know, ended up going to Sesame Street. He was married for a long. I think he does have kids, but he came out. Yeah, well, I don't mean shit. I mean, because James about, Avery was gay. Uncle Phil. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, they were great. They were, they they were great. fantastic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know why people trip on this shit. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, we obviously times have moved forward when it comes to. We think to they have. No, I mean, no, 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 no
when Family Matters was on TV, could he have come out and been gay? No. So he had to hide it. Now you can... Well, like I said, on the surface or whatever, it seems like, yeah. I mean, and it has for a little bit, but deep down, I mean, there's still... No, no, people still dislike homosexuality, but what I'm saying is, is I think the hate for homosexuality is still the same, but I'm saying that the, the comfort that gay people have a community, like it's everybody knows, like we can talk about it openly without... Yeah, you know, you know what, what though? I mean? Okay, but that, that's progress. Because when I was a kid, you couldn't talk about being no, gay. Nope. It was like, oh, but you know what? Here's what I think. And I knew this from my, from my roommate. Where she was like, I think they closed the Metro, one of those gay clubs. And I mm -hmm. said, why? She goes, because they were worried it was going to be like a terrorist attack. And she was like, because you straight people, blah, blah. And they were just kind of pissed off. And it made sense because it'd be almost be like, we can't have a black club because they're so racist that we're going to, you know, tear, I mean, burn it down. And that's basically what they're going through. And you know what, it, to me, it boils down to, and it, it's always religious people. I mean, seriously, it's always like, it's always the real religious people. It's like, it's like the islands, all the ca 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 Caribbean, African, they're always like so religious, but they hate gay people. Like, to the point they kill them. You know, it yeah. makes no sense to me. Oh, I'm a super Christian. God but told you that, well, it was Sodom and Gomorrah. He killed everybody because they kept fucking each other in the butts. So, okay, so, so if a dude fucks a woman in the butt, so what does that make That's, him? He, he, he's he still inside me, he, right? Yeah, he don't want that for some reason. You ever think that religion is full of the shit? The only thing God told us not to do is eat from the tree of wisdom. You ever wonder why he would be like, don't be smart? Because ignorance is bliss. When you don't know a lot, life is a lot better. You just... Do, 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 do. Well, to but me, you know, it goes, is it, you lose your power. You lose the ability to control. Like, if, you're, if you know what I'm doing, I can't manipulate you anymore. So, if you can't, I don't know anything about this. I'm learning from you because I didn't read about it. So, if, you can, if he said don't, don't. The only thing he ever told Adam and Eve not to do is eat of the tree of knowledge. Because if you eat not, okay, because if you eat the tree of knowledge, then you get the, then you get uh, then smart. You know the and then you get, and you get right, questioned. Here, then you know the difference between right and wrong. And once you know the difference between right and wrong, you're accountable. And so what I don't understand is, is why even tell them? If they already didn't know any better, what did you tell them for? So now it gives them like more incentive to eat from the tree of knowledge, right? Well, this is what I'm saying. If, if you're in control mm -hmm. and there is an instance for you to lose control, if you present the people who don't know any better an option, and you know, because you created them, that the second they get that option, they're going to fucking do it because that's just who they are. That's human nature. That's what you created them to be. That's human nature. Like, the whole shit just starts to fall apart when it comes to him, like, truly loving us. I'm like, no, you, you literally punished us for being what you made us to be. So basically, it's your fault. It is his fault. If God never said anything about that fucking tree, they'd have never even known about it. That's and we'd still be fucking whatever we were, were then, if that's the true story. And I don't believe it's the true story, because the shit just don't make sense. Like, if you have the power to do anything and everything, what the fuck do you need regos for? That's a one-sided relationship. I give you everything you need as long as you fucking beg me for it. But also, you have to do the work, because I'm not going to do it for you. What is he getting out of this? It, the glory he already knows he has? Like, what, what sense does that make? I don't know. I just, I don't know how we got on this, but man, that shit just irritates me. It, it, it's I, the only thing I can't wrap my head around. It's like... Well, there's a lot of religion I can't, I, I, I can't wrap myself around. I mean, a that's lot. That's what it was. We were talking about how religious people don't like gays. Yeah. <laughs> but most, a lot of them, especially the fucking extreme ones, be gay as shit. I mean, the extreme, extreme, like, uh, uh, what do you call it, fundamentalists? Mm -hmm. Those guys, uh, Republicans. They're always on Grinder getting busted. Florida pastor. You, you ever been on Grinder? <laughs> Sassy. I mean, just a look, just a look. <laughs> just a look. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> just a look. I mean, just to see Bro, what. Have you been on there just a look? No, no, I would never look like at Grinder. But I'm just asking you. I mean, because look, just, just to see. Just to see the layout of their. Of I their think that should be the name of this episode. <laughs> just to look. Just to look. Cause what the fuck are you talking about? No, I've never been on Grinder. Just to look for what? What am I looking for? I know what's on there. 
I mean, to look, I don't go window shopping. To look at the way I have a list. To look at the website, go. Oh, okay, this is no. Nice. And then no. you get off of it. I, I, I don't give a fuck if it's run by GoDaddy. I don't give a shit how good or bad their website. That is. That would make sense actually if GoDaddy ran Grinder. <laughs> it, it really would make sense if GoDaddy and Grinder combined. Is GoDaddy still around? I have probably yes. And, okay, you look up GoDaddy. I don't assume. You can look up GoDaddy. I mean, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna be busted for that. I hope not, at least. <laughs> Man, Malika could pull Make over. Make sure it's dot com, not. Yeah, it's still around. Is it? Yeah. Ever, since, ever since they quit sponsoring Danica Patrick, I have no idea what the fuck GoDaddy's doing. I think they lost a bunch of money. And on on and Danica to, Patrick. Like, restructure. No, well, it was after her, but. I think one of the, somebody, one of the execs got in trouble or something. For, for doing what? I don't remember. Like That's somebody underage? No. <laughs> okay. no, I don't think it was. Being on Grinder? <laughs> why would that? Why would that? Because I mean, you, you know how it is. Something. You know what's weird? What? Is that if you believe all that Bible stuff that the preacher's preaching, it shouldn't really matter what his 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 lifestyle is. So if your pastor got caught up in a gay Getting his back blown out. Yeah, scandal. So does that change the word of God that he preached to you on, on Sunday? Listen, let me tell you something. Religion is all about control. And, I, and honestly, the more I think about it, the black, the black church almost set us up for uh, in, during the, uh, the civil rights movement. You know? I mean, like, you know, there was a pastor. Who, Sharpton was a goddamn FBI informant. Don't, I don't even, yeah, don't even get me down that road. No, I want to go down that road. Let's, let's go down that All road. All the fucking leaders, man, they, this, is how they, this is how the government do you, bro. This, when you talk about control, right, so you get to a certain level, right, and you find out they've been listening to your phone calls. So you either play the game or, or you, you go to jail. Die. Yeah, like on uh, uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. And that's all it is. That's all it's ever going to be. Why? Because they are in control. And don't ever get it twisted. You can earn buku dollars, and but they, you sell. They but you will, sell. Everybody they out. will find a way to make you have an accident. Oh my! Easily. It'll be in a. a you, <clears throat> you watch that show, The Blacklist, man. That's some real shit they do in real life. I have no doubt about it. It might not all be criminals either. It might be people ready to talk. Uh, Thirteen people died on the bus today. Oh well, one of those people on that bus was about to do something. I think. I think that's what happened with that Malaysian airline. No, I have no you know, because supposedly, supposedly there was a lot of scientists on that plane and they were going to get a patent. And, and we never found that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the fact that it went back and then like it, like it, you know, it went a certain way and go like, oh, I forgot my keys. And he went back mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they never found it. And again, they said, I think the United States, I think the United States has something to do with that. They always do. The United States is at the bottom of Bruh. every fucking dirty. Every thing. 50 years they, they release all these fucking so they wait for Five, people to die. Yeah, yeah, you wait for and then you come to find out, oh, my government was in fucking the planet with no condom for a minute. So uh, the Warren Commission on, on, the, uh, on the, the Kennedy assassination, it, it, aren't, they, aren't they supposed to be released like in 2000? They want to make sure everybody's dead. So that way when you open up, they go, ah, oh, and, and but you can't. See, and that's some crazy them. shit, man. It's, uh, I don't want to be one of those conspiracy theorists, but man, it's the way they can control a narrative so quickly, so fast, it's just, it's scary. Like a reporter finds something out and he ends up, this one reporter found something out and he got shot. He had like two bullet holes in the back of the head and they, yeah, and they like, said it was a, a suicide. suicide. And you're going. You ever see that movie Shooter? With Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. That was a good movie. Great fucking Fuck, movie. Fuck, I, I love but his They movies. had that device where Michael Pena was about to shoot himself in the face. Yeah. The suicide device. This isn't our first time using it. I'm sure it isn't. Yeah. I thought that was a great movie. And at one, remember at one time he was about to get shot and uh, he was in that boat and he said, and it, mm -hmm. man, that, that was a good ass movie, man. Yeah, the favorite. shooter, mm -hmm. <sighs> and they even threw in a love story because his spotter, yeah, his spotter died, and he goes back and fucks his girl like that. I would, that shit was terrible. You know, they they use you to help too, though. But still, I mean, you know, it's like no, no. It was, I mean, I I get that, but I, why they gotta fuck? Because, That's his because she's best dead. friend's girlfriend. Well, he's dead. So exactly, he's dead though. Pearl Harbor, like, but he's what dead the fuck? though. I mean, look, it's like he's come dead. back and fuck your wife, he, your brother's wife after your brother's dead. I mean, he's he's dead, bro. Oh, I mean, you got to move on, Malik. Do you hear this, man? He's dead, bro. Would you? So, okay. Say you had a brother, right? He goes off to war and he dies, and then his wife is all sad, and you come for her, and then would you would you fuck her? Would y'all get married after that? Well, no. How, how long after? How long? Like a year? It, what do you mean? How long? There'd be no time. That'd be weird. 
No, when you don't fucking marry your does brother's you, wife, does bro. Does your brother have a wife? Yeah. Would you fuck her? No. But it's a difference, though. But, but no, what, how is it different? That's literally what happens in the movie. The, the, no, because there's there's no like you know sexual chemistry there. But I mean, if you had a brother's what wife, what the fuck are you died. talking about? She died. There's not supposed to be any sexual chemistry with your brother's <laughs> wife, bro. No. Whether he's alive or not. You guys are acting like oh oh she's hot, but oh she's my brother's wife. I can't. Man, it's literally your sister in law. I know a dude who married his okay his mom. Are you listen, 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 listen. His dad. Married this woman, okay, and she had kids from another man, okay. That dude, okay, they, that dude's kids end up marrying one of her daughters, who, who had a uh, that she had a kid with from somebody else. They end up getting married, but the, but the but the headline was, oh, this guy married his sister, and they actually they, they they but they weren't really related related, and they gave him all this big deal. But that has nothing to fucking do. Like I'm. We are still at the part where you're like, how long? What do you mean, how long? I mean, you, the, the dude ain't coming back. So, I mean. It's your brother's wife. He's dead. You don't see. So if your brother died, you would have sex with his wife? I mean, no. Nah, because nah. if, she, if she was attracted to you. No. I mean, you got to say it. They're dead, man. They're not coming back. So what does that have to do with anything? Because they're not coming back. It's not like you're committing adultery. It's not like you're doing it behind his back. He's dead. <laughs> man, they're yeah, dead. wrong with you, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> How about this? How about this? I, and I remember asking this, this dude this question. And I go, okay, if you died, would you want your wife to remarry? He goes, hell no. I go, why? He goes, I just don't. I go, you're dead. I mean, not, not like in this scenario, like a brother, but he goes, just, just, just get married in general. He goes, no. I go, that's the most ignorant, selfish I've heard in my life. So you would want to get married to somebody else. You go, no, man. I go, that makes no sense. Well, the vow says till death do us part. And he, I said, if you're dead, you would want your wife, the wife to remarry. And he goes, no. Not hey, my brother. No. No. I mean, no, just a regular old motherfucker. No, you know? I'm just saying. I, that, I get. I can understand that. I, I get that. You, if I was to ever get married and then I pass away, she can do whatever she want while she's down here. Aww. As long as it ain't my brothers. <laughs> you cannot do that. Because if you bring your ass to heaven or hell, I'm whooping it all, all the time we got left. As soon as I see you, it's on sight. Really? So the spirit of you and your yeah. brother? Yeah. Fuck saw, that. No. I saw what you did to my, to my wife. You don't touch your brother. You was dead, nigga. You, don't you touch was your dead. Brothers. You can take your brother's clothes. You can take your brother's car. You but can't you can't take his girl. That's not his girl. You're, he's dead. It is his girl. If he's, he's alive, would they be together? Yes. Yeah. So why? Ugh, that's dead. disgusting. That's so See gross. if that's ever happened, Malik. Look at it. It's for sure happened. I don't even gotta Google it. Yeah. Oh well, you don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want that video to pop up. Yeah, he don't want that. He, <laughs> he don't want Plainfield PD to show up. Did you send the? Uh, 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 would you? I mean, uh, am I the asshole? Yep. Okay. Is it about that time? It is about that time. All right, I'll pull it up. Here we go. Look at Emma Gucci is about that time. <clears throat> Let's see. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay gas money for a ride when the gas was free for my friend? You want to read it or me? Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I went on a trip with some friends and caught a ride to the airport with one of them. It was a two-hour drive. Damn. I had, of course, agreed to pay my share of the gas for the drive. Afterwards, he told me that it was a company car and the gas was paid for by his employer. No matter how much he used, no matter how much he used. Nice perk. That's the problem, though. He incurred, he incurred literally no cost driving there. If I paid him gas money for gas paid for by his employer, he would just be pocketing that cash. He was taxed a set amount for the park for the perk, no matter how much he used the car. So no tax expenses were increased either. I wasn't told this before I agreed to pay gas money. In my mind, gas money is meant to help cover an expense, not to make profit off your friends. On the other hand, he did give me a two hour ride and I saved money from that. I also agreed to pay my share of the gas. Was I the asshole? Edit, I did end up buying him a bottle of wine as a thank you for the ride. I just refused to pay him cash the price of the wine was less than the gas, though. I should also point out that we were all going on that trip, so he was so he so he was going to take he was going to drive the trip no matter if I was in the car or not. Is he? Yeah, he's an asshole. So hold on, did the guy add an extra two hours onto his trip to pick you up, or 
Is that what he was saying? Ba I think he, he basically caught a ride. I, he got, went on a trip with some friends and caught, and caught a ride to the airport with one of them. It was a two-hour drive. So I, I guess they lived in the same town and they wanted to go to the airport, okay. so he caught a ride. So, so, so the guy didn't drive an extra two hours out of the Yeah, yard. so just give him the goddamn gas money. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. So you get a free ride. So you ride for free. Yes. At least offer. If you're no, at no. least offer. Is the ride paid for? Yes. Then why am I giving you gas money? That to me sounds like so fucking petty. Fucking pay the gas money. No. Or at no. least offer. Hey man, you want some gas? I mean, I know it's free, but still want nah, some gas man, money. Nah, man, you a shitty motherfucker getting a free ride and then gonna tell a nigga he gotta pay. Fuck you. No, no, you leave it up in the air, and if you don't, no. then it's like, he okay. said he was gonna split it, and then you, he found out that you weren't. He wasn't splitting anything. He was just giving you money because it's already paid for. I, you, an expense is something that isn't bought already. So if you tell me, <laughs> hey, split this with me, that means to me that you haven't paid for it yet. If I find out you already paid for it, then it's not me splitting it. It's me. I owe you. He could at least offer to pay the fucking gas. No. Nah. Well, yeah, well, in what way? In what way? In what way? I just think he's trying to scam his friend almost out of some free money. Yeah. Now that, imagine what if they got a hotel or something and the company paid for the hotel, but he was like, oh, can you send me $300 for the hotel? He's just trying to pocket this $300. But, okay, but did I read it wrong? Did I read it wrong or did he ask for the gas money though? I mean, did I, he? You know, I feel like that doesn't even matter. It's like, why would you ever? That's not a real friend at the end of the day. Because he, he's just going to pocket the money. It's not like he's going to put it towards the gas. Yeah. Because it's already paid. That's what I'm saying. That's straight. That's literally getting in your friend's pocket for no other reason than you can. I mean, if, if that dude wasn't going to the airport, that dude would have to pay to either to, to, uh, for re uh, transportation or, his, or whatever. He, which he was willing to do. But he, so why but he as a, a friend? Ride. So why as a friend would you charge him <coughs> when you're getting the same service for free? That's what I'm saying. He offered. It's not some random stranger. He it's gave, your friend. He should have gave him twenty bucks. It's a two hour ride. Give him twenty bucks. Bro, I don't even give a fuck. What I'm that's not the that's not the argument. Then what's the argument? The argument is you don't charge your friends for something you're getting for free that you're sharing. That's a shitty friend. If I. If I I'm, think he should no. I think he should offer to pay. Hey man, here's twenty. Thanks anyway. Bro, that's not the argument. <laughs> the dude. Why do you keep saying that? No, because the, the dude didn't ask for the money. He goes, hey, it's a company car. So he didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for gas money. They agreed to split it, and then he told them it's a company car, which means they don't have to split anything because it's a company fucking car. Why are you always yeah? Because you make me, you rage me with your. No. Unlogic. There's, there's, there's no, no unlogic logic to it. There. You still pay money because you were going to go, and now you're bumming a ride. No, but that's the question you're, you're is. You're bumming a ride. The, the question is, is he an asshole? And the answer yeah. is yes. Yeah, he is an asshole. He goes, Am I the asshole for not paying gas money? No, he's not. Okay. You say he's not. I say he is. Why? Because. He wasn't going to take, he bummed a ride basically, said, no, I'll give you gas money. He finds no. out, the guy's, hey, this is a company car. So he was doing something he was already going to do. Well, give your friend money for doing it anyway. Hey, man, here, do something. I mean, he said he bought him some wine. Fuck the wine. Give him 20 bucks. No. He bought him wine anyway. He ended up buying the wine. So instead of the wine, fuck the wine. Give me, give me 20. So, BT, if, I, if you and I were driving to again, I was like, I, we ride together, and I'm driving, and I got a gas card, and I said, hey, BT, Give me uh, forty dollars for gas. I think it'd be right. I think it'd be right. No, but I think it'd be right because I wasn't gonna. I'm not driving. It's not my car. So I'm just showing my appreciation. But here's at forty bucks for driving me to the gig and back. That's crazy. Okay, I would. <laughs> I, I guarantee I would. Here's the difference, though. Okay, tell me. If you offer it, that's fantastic. But if I'm driving and when I was already having to go to where I, you and I are both going anyway, right? So whether you were in the car or not, I still had to go there. And the gas was already paid for. Mm -hmm. So I didn't lose any money whatsoever, uh -huh. whether mm -hmm. you were in the car or not. And then I said, hey, you can ride with me because we're going to the same place. Word. You show up to my crib, we hop in the car, and I, and I say to you, I need $40 for gas, even though I don't need $40 for gas. That is a shitty thing to do. Whether you offer to pay for the gas or not, me requiring something that I don't need from you and making you think that I do is fucking shit.
And if, if, if a friend of mine did that to me, we would no longer be friends. Point blank period. Because you don't take advantage of people. You don't treat people like that. I think we're past the point of gas money anyway. Like, I haven't charged a friend for gas money since like high school. To me, that's kind of childish. Like, if I had fucking $20 to my name, I think that, okay, I need to fetch the $5 for gas. But if you're a grown person and they got a company car, I just feel like they're too old to be asking for gas money, in my opinion. The guy didn't ask for gas money. Did he, did he ask for it? I think that's the whole beef in the situation. Is the fact that he was like, yo, where's that money you said you were, we were going to split? And he was like, I'm not splitting it because you you're, not, you're not losing any money. And caught a ride with one of them. And caught a ride is a two hour. Of course, agreed to pay my share of the gas. Afterwards, he told me that it was a company car and the gas is paid for by his employer. See, that's why but, he didn't But I don't money. know if the guy asked, though. He goes, let's pay for my employer. Of course he did. That's, that's where the whole situation comes in. After the fact, he found out, oh, it didn't cost you shit. Why are you charging me? We're supposed to be friends. So he, you think he, that dude ain't really his friend, though. He just caught a ride. If they're not friends, then I can see that making sense. Because he just said, but if they're friends, then. I mean, they're not, they're not really friends. He goes, I went on a trip with some friends and caught a ride to the airport with one of them. Friends, one of them. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. That's frustrating. I went on a trip That's with shitty to do to a friend, is it not? I definitely. Bro, if you did that to me, I swear to God. <laughs> That's grimy. Let me find out. You get some okay, shit for I, I, I free want, and I you charge gig, me for I went on a gig with Laura and I paid for her gas. If, it, if, if I found out it was her company car or whatever, I still wouldn't have got mad. It's just my way of saying, hey, thanks That's for driving. That's because you a simp for a pretty girl. That's the only reason you pay for Laura's gas. If Laura was ugly as fuck, you wouldn't have bought her shit. <laughs> yes, I would have. No, you would yes, not. Yes, I would have. Yes, I would have. No, you wouldn't have. You, I mean, it doesn't matter. to me, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that you're doing all the driving. You're doing the heavy lifting. That's the least I could do. Like, 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 if you're driving me to a gig and I go, and, and I ask her, I go, hey, you mind if I, ride? I tell you what, can I ride with you? You come pick me up and then I go, I'll pay for gas. You know? Now, that's a service, BT. But, but after this wasn't listen, a service. Listen, listen, listen. But if she goes, but it, during, during the process, she goes, this is my company car. Um, you know, they pay for gas. I go, man, don't worry about it. I'll still pay for it. I think I would still do that. Because it's just the fact that she came she out of her way to pick me up to take me to a gig. You're doing all that. So the least That's I can not do, what happened in this scenario. He caught a ride to the airport with some friends. He caught a ride. Yeah. He could have went by himself, his, but he said, let me catch a ride. We're going to the same point. He's, what? What's the point of friends, then? I, thank, thank you. you. Sound, thank you, Malik. To me, it don't, it don't sound like they're, it's, it's, sound it's like so they're really transactional close. With no, but they don't, sound, they don't sound like they're close, though, uh, with some friends. Like, what difference does that make? No, it does make a big difference. No, it does. It, it's. Well, do you wait, no. not see how? We're just gonna we're just gonna agree this you, We're gonna go all well, day. Let me ask you this. No, do you not do you not see how it's shitty to ask something of your friend? I don't think he. I'm I'm asking you about not not these people, just you personally. Your person, if if your friend had something for free and then they ask you to pay for it, that you're both were going to anyway. If you don't he, see, would that not asked, be shitty to you? If he asked. He was like, yo, pay, yeah, I'm getting it for free, but I'm charging you 60 bucks, even though you were going anyway. That's shitty. I don't think, I, I don't know. I think if you're really good friends, I mean, I would just offer the money anyway. And then, hey, just take the money, man. Like, he, he bought him some wine. The closer He we, bought him wine, didn't the, he? The closer we are, you offering offense me. Because I'm your fucking friend. You don't gotta, like, to me, you offer money to somebody you don't really know that well. Say, hey, show my true appreciation. If, I, if I'm your friend, fuck, I know you appreciate what I'm fucking doing for you. If It's not gonna cost you no fucking money. Like, what, like Malik said, what's the point of having friends? If, if you have to offer them cash to, like, what? Yeah, I hear you. I don't get that. I hear you. Every time somebody close to me, like, oh, I put, nah, I don't need your money. I'm just glad you're going with me. Oh, that's sweet, man. <laughs> you do have another side. It's, I just, I don't, like, that's your friend. What's the point of getting a friend, somebody close visit, to you? You have visited Grinder. Good for you, Dion. <laughs> don't get mad, Dion. I'm don't not get mad. mad. Don't get mad. Nothing wrong with homosexuals having their own website. Is Black Planet still around? You would know. Is Black Planet still around? Planet or? Black Planet. 
Oh, remember Black Planet? Yeah, I do remember Black Planet. You know, more white girls. Than man, that Planet. was the funniest stuff about Black Planet. The white girls would go in there and the black women get all mad. It's fucking bullshit. It's supposed to be for black people. And the white girl's like, whatever, mm -hmm. bitch. Whatever. She said, I am here for black people. <laughs> I will support them in the way I know how. Anything you need, daddy. <laughs> Zaddy. <laughs> Did yeah. you see uh, Donnell Rollins' uh, special? I did watch it. Did you like it? No, I did not. Oh, you think he just talks loud? It, to me, it was the material was not worthy of a special. You know what I mean? When I go watch a special, I want to have something memorable. There he, was nothing memorable about. It was all topical, easy. He, he talks loud. Yeah. But I mean, he I, says some funny things. I, like I laughed out loud like three times. Because it was funny, but it wasn't transparent. I thought that was great. I thought that, I think that was the best joke. I'm a yeah. transparent. It, I don't know. I just I don't. A lot of people didn't. Good for him though, because the way he said it, I think he he he, he taped two or three, and then Chappelle like was taping it. He goes, "Do you want to tape it again? Tape it again?" And he did it. But yeah, uh, he had to redo one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was good. I mean, that was good. Anyway, are we good? <sighs> I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. I got an yeah. audition. Make sure you guys go to buymeacoffee.com backslash sorry we're canceled. Become a canceled crew member for as little as six bucks. Please do not fucking interrupt the goddamn promo. Jesus! I hate when you do that. What? I didn't say nothing. I know you were about to. <laughs> but I didn't even say nothing. You remember my mom used to slap me for no reason. No, that was know. always a reason. Your mama didn't wake up and go, ooh, I can't wait to hit BT. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. You don't know my mama. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, I didn't even interrupt you. I let you talk. I was about to go. What I was about to go is, since you're our friends, you're like our friends, why would they pay? I wouldn't charge my friends money for a fucking <laughs> cup of coffee. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> see how that works, Dion? You, you see, see how that works, Dion? You I don't charge, charge my friends. We charge our listeners for a product. They get an extra episode a month. Had you not fucked up the promo, you'd have known. I didn't that. fuck up the promo. You did fuck up the you promo. You were talking. You I, I didn't say promo. shit. I didn't say shit. Anyway, he's got to go. We got to go. This has been a fantastic episode. It was a great episode. I love you, man. I love and you I would too. never charge you for gas if Thank I was you. getting it for free. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> hey, you know what? Honestly, I'm thinking about renting this motherfucker out as a yoga studio. I really am. Like, if, <laughs> like, like I'm going to put flyers up. Hey, any of you bitches want to do <laughs> yoga in my fucking apartment while I'm gone? Just so it smell like a woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why don't you just get some woman's perfume? Just so it'll smell like a woman. By the That's way. crazy. But, no, you know how women have that good smell? You go, oh, fuck I bet you I can pull up grinder on this computer right now. Talking about smelling like no, a woman. No, okay, hey, okay, here's one. I wish it brought up earlier, but it, 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 real quick. We gotta go. Okay, you know how they have, uh, people have work husbands and, and uh, mm -hmm. work wife. You think you can have like a, 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 a gym wife? Like, like a girl at the gym or a guy at the gym that's your gym wife or gym husband? Is that, is that the same as having a work husband? I think that's how you get to a real wife. <laughs> I think that's how you get to a fucking a affair. At the gym. <laughs> that's how you get to an affair. So I'm just asking, because I saw a girl at the gym that... You was, never talked to? I did talk to her. <laughs> I saw her doing the, the Copenhagen um, uh, plank. I went and talked to her. She was doing her legs. And she talked to me. She wasn't even scared. She was white. She wasn't even scared. She was talking to me. I was like, oh, this could be the one. So now <laughs> she might... Because I haven't seen Stephanie in for I don't know how long, so I guess she's gone. Because uh, our gym closed down for a little bit. And, uh, you know, because they, they re redid it and it came back. I haven't seen Stephanie since. So I, <laughs> if I see this girl again, I might be like, hey, listen, um, you want to do lunch? That's not bad, is it? This sounds like the confessions of a fucking serial killer. Man, this guy. Uh, he just... I haven't seen Stephanie in a while. He spoke for a while. She wasn't even scared of me this time. <laughs> That's how you sound. <laughs> Once you look up pedophilia <laughs> on your phone, <laughs> but do it out in the parking. I don't want the cops coming here. <laughs> do it at the <laughs> Anyway, look, we got to go. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot. Answer the questions on the MIT Asso and other things. Y'all have been awesome. Thank you guys so much. We'll get everything out to you. We're gonna be on the road. I'm gonna be on the road for a little bit, but we'll be back with another episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the uh, the bonus episode we did. I had a great time. I, that bonus episode was fun, man. Was fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm BT. I'm Deion Curry. And like we say about this time, you know the word. Peace.